Hey everybody, good afternoon. Well, it's Steve. In light of this afternoon, uh, when we were doing a segment earlier for the Sunday evening blog, we, we do a video. This week we're, we're doing a little package on a, on a nice little garden bench. I always reinitialize my machine and I would turn my laser crosshair on and I would go put the crosshair where I'm going to start on the, on the piece of material. What I do is I click my green boxes in my WinCNC controller. I write my X and Y coordinate down. Where I live is ice storms. You can lose power. So I'd like to know where to go back to in the event but the power would suddenly shut down on me. Well, as I go to reinitialize, my Y axis starts, uh, Z first on the router. The Y axis starts pulling the gantry back towards the home, home setting, whatever. And the X axis isn't moving. The machine threw an alarm. I, I didn't write it down, so my apologies. And the machine stopped. So I immediately stopped everything, shut everything down, went down to my house, and I went into the Cam Masters forum because there's just an awesome group of guys there. Uh, there's a lot of support, not only from the company, but from the forum itself, Camhead. So I got reading some old posts. Long story short, a gentleman had this issue before. So basically, if this happens to you, power everything down, reboot your PC, wait till everything, you know, you may have more than just, uh, you know, I don't know what you have for applications on your, your computer, minor, bare, minimal, but wait till the whole thing fires up, open up your WinCNC controller, turn your machine back on, try to reinitialize again. Nothing, nothing happened. So, take your, uh, at that point, I powered everything off like it is right here, right now. I have since diagnosed this little, this little issue. The other thing I can't recommend enough is please unplug the power. We're going to go inside the control panel. And it's not that 110 is going to, going to do you in, but you could short something out. I've seen this in, in some of the CNC shops I've been in. You can accidentally touch something, cause a chain reaction, and you know what, what may not have cost you money now does. So, it's a four millimeter. Uh, I use a little T-Rex, a little four millimeter. Takes your button head cap screws out. The panel's got key slots in it. Pull it up. They slide right off. Okay, set your panel right out of the way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over here to the other side. While you're in here, the one thing. Uh, I can advise, now I do all this and I go through this before I call the guys, you know, down at Cam Master and, and bother them. I try to troubleshoot and do what I can on my own. <laughs> the first thing, I'm going to look for is the general appearance inside the cabinet. Get a good flashlight. You're going to see a glare, but it's, it's for the sake of my eyes. Now, make sure any little capacitors, any little bus bars and things that are in here, Look for anything that could be burnt. A black mark on your, your boards are green. Just make sure that your boards are clean. They look clean and healthy, which this one does. It's fine. The next thing, and again, make sure your equipment's unplugged. Do not touch any open metal terminals. Now, in this case, I don't see why they would come loose. I check my wires. I make sure that there is nothing that's, that's come loose because... I believe in chain effects in, these, in this equipment that if one thing's loose, it can affect something else. So we check everything. Down below, we have seven. And I'm going to include a picture with this, and I'll mark it up if I can. Uh, we have seven little, little glass fuses. I think they're 50 volts. Check to make sure that obviously, and they're like the old style round glass tubes like we had in the cars back in the 70s. Okay, it's before some of you were even born, but... Okay, and all my fuses are good. I will say this, I don't know if on the startup some of these have like a capacitor in them. So again, don't touch any open metal terminals because something can still hold the charge and you don't want to start yodeling in the middle of your shop. Now, these are our stepper drives. There's four of them. I make sure that my plugs are all, and again, I don't know why any of this stuff would ever come out or unplugged. Look for loose wires on your stepper drives. Everything looks as though it should be. Now we'll get to the root of my problem here in just a minute. 
We're going to turn the power on in a minute, and the stepper drives have a, a green light and a red light. The red light is a VR alarm, okay? Now, very carefully, just, just do, a, do a quick inspect, you know, make sure that there's no burn marks on boards, there's no loose wires, nothing's come loose, your fuses are good, great. Now, we're going to plug this back in, and I'm going to turn it on, and you'll hear it fire up. Okay, now whether or not you can see it is another story. Each one of these stepper drives has a green light, it's lit. We have a Z, a Z-axis drive, a Y2, a Y, and an X. The reason there's a Y and a Y2 is there's a motor on each side of the gantry for the Y-axis, all right? Nothing's, nothing's red, there's no alarms, there's no loose wires, your board is solid. Now this is what had happened. My input cable out here was tight. I don't know how this happened because I just don't know how, but this cord basically on the other end has the female with the two nuts that stick out. Uh, the nuts that stick out were a little loose over here, but I don't know, like I said, I don't know how, but my block inside came loose. I put my wrench on my little nut out here, and I tightened them both up together at the same time. So everything's nice and tight now. What had happened, basically, I had a communication error from the WinCNC because the plug inside of the cabinet was a little bit loose. It only takes just a minuscule of non-contact, and ultimately, the x-axis couldn't communicate. So. Fortunately today, you know, it, it, it could have it could have been a lot worse. It really could have. However, I've got my cell phone sitting by my side. I know darn well I can call these fellas up if I saw a burnt board or a blown fuse or in my case, you know, I've got my big 10-inch tablet here. I like the camera on it because I can see it a heck of a lot better. Now, I'm going to include a picture of the inside of my cabinet. We'll highlight some stuff to look at, but I thought this was a good video because, like I said, guys, don't, don't lose your mind when something doesn't work. Work through it, troubleshoot it, go to the forums. This is why I bought this machine in the first place. I can count on these guys. They've, they've, never, they've never let me down. And no, I, I, I'm not affiliated or associated with Cam Master. I just I think they're a heck of a, heck of a nice group of guys. And, They've always been there, and we all support each other in the forums, and, you know, that's the end of it. I learned from them, and hopefully I can throw a little bit back to you. But honestly, troubleshoot it, hit your forum, read the different pages. We'll put a link to the, uh, to the website in this, uh, in this video. And, again, this could have been a lot worse. But with technology today, goodness, I could probably even do a video conference, and they can, they can walk me through the phone. Uh, as I'm video recording out the other end, they can, you know, we can communicate. This is the nice part of technology today. Fortunately, I didn't have to bother these guys. So, I hope this helped. Don't ever get, don't ever get discouraged. If there's ever a question I can answer for any of you, please give me a shout. I'm generally, uh, I'm generally online all the time, so find me in the funny pages, all right? As always, you guys are awesome. Thank you for your support. And again, I hope this helped. All right? See you later, guys.